artists from this region of the world, from Eastern Europe, from Bulgaria, and to help them being represented more in the Western cinema because the more colors one picture, one painting has, the more beautiful it is, I believe. And I'm happy to say that I have a feeling that my generation and future ones are going to fight for diversity and for equality. And this is also one of the messages of the movie. Um, so I'm honored, I'm happy, I'm humbled, and I'm going to be really responsible with this recognition. Well, Maria, I am a huge, huge Maria. I am a. Huge, this was the best movie I saw all year. I think you're fantastic. I think you're fantastic. An Oscar. I think yes. we may have lost. I believe we lost Maria. Oh, we just got her I'm back. Here. Okay, okay, Megan, great. do it one and again. Excellent. Yes, do no it again, well, Megan. You're incredible, and we. Uh, I. This is the best movie I saw all year, and I hope that you win. And Borat has been one of my favorite movies for my entire life. I used to watch it with my family. This incarnation, it was my favorite movie all year. I laughed so hard in a year where there weren't a lot of things to laugh about. I really, really hope you win. You actually beat out over 600 actors who auditioned for this role. How did you first hear about the audition, and when did you realize this was for a Borat film? Thank you so much for the nice words. And girls, I'm super happy that I'm surrounded by all of you talented, inspiring women. I forget to say it at the beginning. Uh, so it's been quite crazy, because I heard from my co-star, Ralitza, that we were doing a movie called Women Do Cry. And she said, a friend of mine posted on Facebook that they're searching for an actress for a big Hollywood movie. And I was like, oh my God, this is not possible. It's, it cannot be legit casting. Uh, and I was trying to convince myself that it's gonna be like a kidnapping situation. So don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But I listened to my inner voice and in the morning around 5.30, 6 a.m. after my graduation ball, I made a self tape that I sent just to get connected to Julian, um, this other actor who posted it on Facebook. Um, and to start developing our projects with messages, um, co-productions here and there. So I sent it and like a few hours later, Nancy Bishop, the casting director, called me and Jason Lewiner, the director, Anthony Hines, Dan Mazer, Dan Swimer, Monica Levinson, um, all of them have been in connection with me that this is a real audition, this is a real <laughs> movie. And I was like, wow, okay, so we're gonna travel you to London we're gonna do a self, uh, another audition in person with real people in a real house. And I was okay, I'm freaking out. They might not be for real. It's been a wild journey. It's been a wild journey, but one of these moments that you're either gonna take the risk and probably win because I feel like I want the world meeting all of the team behind board and meeting you right now. Or you might keep wondering what it would be happen, what would happen if I, if I, take this risk. So it's been crazy. I don't know. I think I, I was talking too much. <laughs> well, Maria, you and Sasha Baron Cohen did some really crazy things together in this movie, and you call Sasha your guardian angel. What was it like to work with him? <sighs> Sasha is one of the most inspiring people <clears throat> of all times, um, because what he's doing, he is doing a revolution through his art. I can see him as a superhero wearing a board suit. Um, so I, I have a, an idea to convert the board costume into a superhero costume because Sasha is a hero. And it's really interesting because his brain works like crazy. Every single minute there is a new idea, um, new things that they can bring to the movie because Sasha has been like a captain of the ship because he's producer, he's creator, he's an actor. He's working with the director closely. He's working with the writers all the time. Um, and I don't know, it's been just amazing. It's inspiring and it's, I wanna be like him one day. He is my idol and I admire his work and his fight for life, for equality, for, for women as well, because our movie is a riot against misogyny and against subjugating women. Tuta story is one of these stories where we can look at it and say, okay, this is probably not the right thing to do, so let's work on that. Right. So, Maria, don't go anywhere because we have more questions for you. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Okay. Hello. Still pretty. It's just like I remember you. <laughs> Stay back. 
Brooklyn North, U.S. Marshal. You picked up a friend of mine last night. What the hell is this? There's not a day that goes by I don't think about what we did. I saw someone. Hey, hey Jerry, Jerry! Ronald, I, I saw Ronald. Get into an all-new Big Sky tonight at 10, 8, 9, only on CTV. Then stream anytime. <laughs> A song by Paul Beckman, Paul Rainbow song, created <clears throat> April 18, no, April 20th, 2021. The song is going to be called A New Film and a New Actress. Here we go. A new film and a new actress. A new film and a new actress. Yeah, for I can film, for I can film. Well, yeah, that's a lot. What we need to do is follow me. We're gonna fit. Who wants to do this actress? Who wants to come and do this film? Who wants to star in a four act film? Who wants to co star? Who wants to star? Who wants to do this? Ask a lot of people. My girl sent in a tape of herself. Well, they said, We want to get back to you. Come to the real audition now. It'll be in a real house. There's real people there. There's people team. That's about it. That's about what it is. And they did the film, produced it, and people watched it. Well, yeah, still now she got recognition. Talking about her experiences. Well, a new actress for a new film. from this movie, especially in this country, of course, <laughs> is with you and Rudy Giuliani, okay? So you posed as a reporter interviewing him in a hotel room, and he eventually lay on the bed and put his hands down his pants just as Borat jumps out of the closet to save you. Now, Giuliani says he was tucking in his shirt. Was he? And what was going through your mind when you were in the room with him and... 
Were you nervous to do this? That's a lot of questions I know. Wow. Um, I knew from the very beginning when I joined the project that there is going to be a scene when I'm supposed to meet somebody world known. And am I going to be capable to do it, to meet some political person, some politician? Uh, but when you made a commitment and when you say that, yes, I will do it and this is my duty as an actor, you have to do it. I was freaking out. I was nervous, but I was nervous before every single scene as well. Um, I was quite scared because I was alone and I am a woman um, and he is a man. I, I don't want to think about the political situation because I'm not American and I've been living in the United States only for one and a half year. So I'm not there yet to make to have a completely um, idea what I support and what I don't in a political way uh, and which side I should choose. If I want to live here, I should become politically engaged with my views. Uh, but right now, I think I'm not there yet. So I'm going to look at the, the scene more as a scene and more as the human beings, because thinking about that scenario, um, I'm getting to the conclusion that if I was a man journalist, probably he would have reacted in a different way. I cannot be sure. Um, but I was I was nervous. Of course, I was nervous. I was able to hear my real heart racing uh, like crazy in my ears, and I don't know, breathing like fish out of water because Sasha was in the closet. I was hoping that he's gonna jump and save me, save the scene, save the world as he usually do. Um, but you never know. He had only like two percent battery on his phone, and he wasn't able to communicate with the team. So it was it was just a chance to to be on time and his instincts are always right so things go to, i was with with Sasha in the scene as well um i don't know uh i had to learn probably 300 pages of information the day before uh we did the scene because up until the last moment i wasn't sure is it gonna happen is it gonna happen is it gonna happen and i think he tried to cancel the interview I in saw. the morning before we've met I um, back because of covid saw. testing uh so it's gonna be cold. I was learning everything in the last minute, and it was interesting. Now I know where he's been born, where he grew up in Brooklyn. What should I know about him? As Meeting a, fan, a famous celebrity that he in the film. Square, or he took down the Italian mafia, or yeah. all of the information I have in my brain right now. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, Maria, you're gonna have a great time. You're having a great time. Enjoy all of it. Enjoy all of it. We're gonna tell people that Borat's subsequent movie film is available now on Amazon Prime Video. And our fingers are crossed for you. Have a great time Sunday. We'll be thank right you back. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Meeting a famous First celebrity in early, the film. View your deal. Meeting a famous celebrity in the film. Meeting a celebrity. A famous celebrity in the film. Meeting a famous celebrity in the film. Me he 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 about where his hands were and his pants well what did you think girl she brought it out it wasn't nothing I don't know I don't know I was hoping the other guy was gonna come out yeah her mentor fellow actor and director and man of many hats doing everything yeah could catch even though his phone was down to only two percent he couldn't get really in touch with his team that was heaven said but he came out at the right time and started the scene with her it worked out perfectly that's right and i'm sure julian was innocent <laughs> Yeah. 